Um, can you tell me uh, what, what, what is so special about this, this, this film today? Uh, what's special about this film are several things. First of all, we're about to film the croissants, which is part of my childhood. I grew up reading them. Uh, it's, so it's a, it's a Belgian comic, uh, and I used to read them as a kid uh, every week uh, in, in, a, in a comic book magazine. And on top of that, uh, it's in, uh, in stereoscopy. Uh, don't uh, 3D uh, is uh, it's a new it's a new technology. Uh, of course, the success of Avatar uh, has caused everybody to now go. Oh, we need to do 3D. But uh, even before people have done it and tried it, and it's uh, it's really new. It's a new language of telling a story. It's a new language of how you put the images together, which to me is always very interested. Uh, interesting. I'm I'm an artist, so I, I draw. I used to be an animator, and. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a box with new crayons, different colors, and I can do whatever I want with the new colors. So when you create something, it's, it's very interesting, it's new, it's something that's it's just fun to do. So technology is finally there. I think because of Jim Cameron, who has put a lot of money and time into developing this technology with, with Vince Pace, and, and even in France, uh, there's a lot of people who have, have worked on this. So the combination of all that and this knowledge is now being put to use to uh, to use it in normal con well normal conditions and conditions that are not that normal in the middle of the snow on a mountain, uh, which is you know difficult even for a regular film. So that's the thing I'm told. I'm told that that before this, but before this, I mean it was hard to to shoot in in 3D because there were so many. Uh, difficulties, so many things you have to think of. Avatar itself is filmed, 90% is CGI, if I'm, if I'm right. Of course. This one, 100% is a real play? Is, is, it will be 100%. This, this, well, the reason why it's hard to shoot in 3D is that it is a new technology. The cameras are bigger, heavier. It's almost like you're making a film in the, in the 30s when sound was new and the cameras were really big, big blimps, and you couldn't do much. But... Hey, Things have evolved and you can look at something as a problem or you can look at something as an opportunity and you take the cameras and you use them for something new and positive rather than think, oh, I can't do this. For everything that you can't do, there's 10 things you can do that are better and more interesting because it's new technology. So I like that. I like to think like that. And also there's a lot of very intelligent people. The crew is very good and they will, they will invent things. So we move the camera all the time we use cranes we use the dollies we use everything that i usually would use so i am not i'm not doing anything i wouldn't do on a regular film with only one camera so that works for me and uh but yes it's i think the first time that we're going to actually have a film that is co shot completely in live action and we will add our main characters in cg afterwards but we're adding them so yes, it's 100% with plates and with actors and in real life. So, but the same thing, it, it doesn't mean for me that it's, uh, that it's more difficult. It's just a different way of thinking and a different way of where you put the camera and what you do with your actors so that there's always something interesting for the 3D effect. Because I think that the 3D effect, people are mistaken that it's just to throw something at the camera and it'll, 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 it comes out of the screen in the theater and everybody goes, wow. Well, it's an effect for two seconds, but it's a little bit cheap. It's a cheap thrill. It's a carnival ride. I think it's much more interesting to find places like here in the woods and with snow and things that give you an unbelievable depth and make things more interesting when you move the camera through the trees and all that. So there's plenty of other things you can do for which uh, 3D is unbelievable that you couldn't do before. Uh, and yes, throwing a snowball at the camera is, is something extra that we can do, of course. Okay. <clears throat>